Hey, how's it going? Back in another Pokemon Go episode. So yesterday, Niantic released some new Generation 4 Pokemon that are available in the wild. Some are available to hatch from 2, 5 and 10 kilometer eggs. Some are regional exclusives and some are level 1 raid bosses. So we're going to jump in now and see how well we did against Sphinx and B-Duck. So we're using the Quick Giant trick as we previously featured on this channel. So we jumped in uh, with our Rayquaza against Sphinx and the Machomp against b Duff, which our Machomp was boosted by the weather because it was partly cloudy. So we took it down pretty quickly. A 179 I think for Sphinx and 175 for b Duff. So we've posted those to the Raid Times website, more on that shortly. So we got our rewards, Golden Raspberry, Super Potion, and 500 Stardust, which is quite good. Rare Candy, always good to get as well, especially for Gen 4, if you want to evolve any Pokemon quite quickly. I think we have around 240 uh, candies ourselves, but we're holding on to those for um, maybe a Mewtwo uh, power-up. So, give our Sphinx Pinup Berry. We've got pe plenty of Pinup Berries as well, which is fantastic, especially for Gen 4. I think there's around 20 Pokemon you can catch, so definitely need to be pin them to uh, get their evolutions and get them as quickly as possible and power them up if they're worth powering up. So we got our Sphinx, new Pokemon, 670 XP. Definitely worth putting on a lucky egg if you're doing a couple of raids and getting these from raids exclusively. So we appraised them amazing as well. I found that actually we're quite lucky with the new gener generation four Pokemon. So we, uh, we might store them and maybe evolve them. And secondly, we uh, jumped into uh, Krigertot and Bunnery as well, trying to get to grips with the new Generation 4 Pokemon names as I didn't follow the cartoon or play the games when I was younger, so I missed out on all of that. So we jumped in with Trenchar and our Machomp as well, which I think was boosted by the weather. So we took on Bunnery, quick giant trick again, came up to a very good time. I think 163 on the Cricker Tot and um, similar enough on the Bunnery. So we took those down. Got some nice rewards as well from those as well. Stardust, always a good thing to get. And the XP as well. So we got plenty of balls. Uh, level 1, you're definitely not going to have any trouble catching them. So, Bunnery looking quite nice. Unfortunately, I didn't take any AR Plus uh, photos. Would have been quite nice. So we're definitely going to do that in the future. So I did a nice little curveball. These were nice and early in the morning, actually. Uh, raids here usually start around 6am, so... Definitely gotta get up early if you want to do a lot of level one, level two, level three raids, because later in the day, usually people are doing level fours and mostly level fives after they finish work. So again, simply amazing, some pretty good ones. So we're definitely gonna hold on to them and possibly evolve them if we don't get any better ones. So back to the raid times website. So as you can see, we've posted our times. If you think you can do better, don't forget to sign up at raidtimes.com and uh, post your screenshot. Let us know if it was boosted by the weather, or if your party was boosted, and uh, submit your time and see how well you do. So, look forward to seeing some entries there. Thanks a for watching, and we'll be back again soon, hopefully with some level two and level three raid bosses, see if we can beat the times that already are featured on the website. So, thanks a for watching, and we'll talk to you all soon.